Hello guys, long time ago I showed you a video in which you could ask your phone to query all the devices available on the network and pretty much tell you who is home or what devices are connected. There was some problems with this profile mainly because it was very power hungry and it was doing a lot of calculations in order to get this information. However, having Raspberry Pi now, uh, this is doable because you can offload all that processing and checking to the Raspberry which is constantly connected to power and just to receive results on your mobile which you can then interpret to the correct results. So let's get this tested. Who is home? Let me check with the Raspberry. It looks like you are home alone, Kevin. List connected devices. Let me check with the Raspberry. There are seven devices online. Would you like a list? Yes. There's is five devices online. PSFOUR, APPLE TV, KATHYS PC, Nexus PC. And two devices unnamed. As you can see, everything is working correct. This tutorial is for more advanced uh, people as uh, some of the data has to be removed from the tutorial itself due to uh, security reasons and uh, this, the file for the tutorial unfortunately apart from the script for the Raspberry Pi won't be available uh, to the same reasons. So let's have a look at the profiles. We're going to create a Python script that will be responsible for checking what devices are connected to our um, router and we'll send that information back to our um, mobile device. We will be using three libraries, one responsible for regex, one responsible for passing the information back to our mobile and one that will execute the ARP scan from the terminal. Performing the scan, the ARP scan, will give us following information, IP of the device, and also the MAC address of the device that is currently attached to the same Wi-Fi network. Information about attached devices will be stored in the output and if you want to look it up all you have to do is just to use command print output. We however going to pass this information to the variable text. We will be executing the regex search in order to kind of put the information in the right order for us as we only need the MAC devices and the one number from the IP if you want to use that as well. The information will start with IP and end with unknown and also the second parameter is the text the variable we're looking for and the last one is that we're going to scan multiple lines in order to find several matches. The information selected and collected that way using regex will be available as a list in order to send that over to our mobile, we have to join this list into a string that we can send using auto remote. I've modified the code responsible for sending auto remote message, so I would be able to attach a variable at the end of it, containing all the information that we want to submit to our mobile. This means whatever gonna be placed in a variable ready will be attached to the end of the URL address and this will be sent using response uh, library. If you would like to have a look at the different formatting at different stages of our code, you can use print commands to print out the current result and see how they are formatted and what else needs to be done in order to receive them in a correct order. I have three tasker profiles, two to respond to my voice commands and one responsible for receiving and processing information from the Raspberry. The voice profiles are very simple. I'm requesting the audio feedback to let me know everything is in progress. Then I use a variable to select what kind of information I'll be requesting from the Raspberry. And also the last message is to send out a remote message to execute the Python script we've created. The variables in the tasks I set mainly so I wouldn't have to execute entire long list of tasks to 
get the information that I needed. So if how many is set to one, I only get information about devices attached. There are four main tasks that are responsible for handling and converting the information from the Raspberry into a bit more usable format. You know two of them already, which are responsible for handling my questions. These are ask who's home and ask how many. The main task that will be fired upon receiving information from the Raspberry is who's home. When Raspberry is sending a message to the mobile, the message starts with WH equals. This way I can easily filter it out and set it as the auto remote condition. And when this happens, the profile will take that information and will load that into Fireball. The first task is to take the information we have about IPs in MAC addresses and translate it into usable format. So we're going to split that information and we're going to assign custom names to MAC addresses so we would know what are devices connected. I'm also setting variable ret, which is uh, short for return, as we're going to use an enter in order to split variables according to the lines. In overview, when the message is received, it's being set to home list variable. Then we're going to use splitter wh equals to remove that from our message because it's still containing this prefix. Then an enter variable is set so we could perform the split between the lines and I'm going to perform order task which is a task responsible for putting names instead of MAC addresses so when the split happens the lines already have a names assigned to it. As you remember the voice command sets one of our variables to one. This means if the first variable is set whose home to one we're going to execute tasks 6 to 14 and otherwise if the how many variable is set to one we're going to execute tasks from 15 to 25, 20, 26. Let's have a look on the first situation. In the first question we're asking who is home right now and we have few uh, tasks to uh, execute before we can find this out. We're going to perform a separate task that will check what mobile devices are currently connected to Wi-Fi and this is where the response is based on. The first task, people home, will search our variable that has stored all the information about devices connected and it will search against the names of the mobile devices only. I'm only interested in who has a mobile at home, not who left, I don't know, computer connected or whatever. This will give us a list of devices stored in a variable devices home. The profile checks how many devices are collected. The profile checks how many devices are connected to router. And if I'm the only person connected to the router, it also gives me a separate message as well. Our second inquiry is asking us how many devices are currently connected to the router. So uh, let's have a look and see what I did here. The first task is responsible for listing all the devices and getting a total number, upon which I'm going to be asked if I would like to hear the names. If I agree to the names, I'll be presented with all the names that are currently assigned and also it will list the list of the devices without names. In order to check what devices has been connected right now online, what we have to do is just perform search and replace uh, function and we're searching for capital letters because this is how I made the task to recognize uh, the named devices from the one that only have a Mac assigned to it. When the search is done, all of them are stored in RA devices online. The last task I'm going to go through is the one that attaches the name to the MAC address. So this happening as soon as we receive the information from Raspberry Pi. There is an entry for every single MAC device available which I took from the router and when you click on it, it checks the variable against the MAC address and if it finds it, it replaces it with the name of the device. And just a reminder, I use the name with the capital letters in order to be able to easily separate them from the MAC addresses. 
As you can see on the variables, variables also allow you to keep the um, IP. So if you're interested in this, you can um, have a look and uh, create a profile that would also tell you what IP the single device is connected to if you want to take it a little bit further. So thanks for watching guys, as usual, more information available in the description. Um, like the video if you found it helpful, leave me a comment if you need uh, some help, and if you're already subscribed, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!